Hey y'all and welcome to our joyful home. Today's video is another pregnancy update and this pregnancy is our fourth for those of you who are new. And so I've been just doing some fun updates through this throughout this pregnancy. I am 18 weeks as of four days ago, three, four days ago. I've been meaning to do this video for a while now and this video is technically a week late but I decided to do it a week late because I don't know, I feel like 18 weeks is more of a milestone i don't know anyway but let's go ahead and jump right into this update so before we start i do have a cold so in case you're like why does she sound so why does she sound so funny that's why um we all got a cold and i'm getting over it it's done but it's still like those lingering symptoms that you have for like a week <sighs> Anyway, it's harder to breathe, you know, all those things. But anyway, I'm doing much better, but I did have a cold and it's still, some of the symptoms are still there. So that is why I sound funny. So in this update, I am in my second trimester now, have been for a good month now, which feels great. I love the second trimester and I'm actually almost halfway through this pregnancy, which is insane. Like, it's gone by way fast <laughs> because I believe, yeah, 20 weeks is right around the midpoint and I'm only two weeks away from that. So insane. And by the time the, the next video comes out or the next month, next update, I will be 20 weeks and some days or and some weeks. So I'll be like, what, 24 weeks long or something like that. So I'll be halfway there and which is, which is crazy and you know, whatever, but Anyway, so these last few weeks so far have been really good. Um, I've been having really no nausea symptoms or anything like that. Still been really tired, <laughs> which can be very normal, um, especially with this being our, my fourth. And um, you know, sometimes your body's just like, whoa. I think a big portion of it too is I'm not taking a prenatal right now. I'm trying to find one that we, one, can afford, one, or two, actually has nutritional value in it and isn't a synthetic vitamin, um, and doesn't have synthetic vitamins and preservatives. So finding the right kind of prenatal is difficult. Um, I'm supplementing with different kinds of foods and stuff, but I think I need a little extra kick, so I need to look into, I'm getting, I'm looking into getting a prenatal called Needed. Um, so I'm looking into that and hopefully that's the one I stick with. Um, it sounds really good. So hopefully I, by the time we have another video like this, I will be on a prenatal and hopefully that will kind of help with the energy problem. But week 14 went great. I would, I hit, I officially hit that second trimester and it was a breeze. It was great. Nothing crazy special happened um but 14 weeks is great it was awesome for me to finally get to 14 weeks i feel like it's just a really good milestone uh 15 again nothing really happened there crazy just normal everyday pregnancy life or everyday mom life essentially i have three other kids and it's it's insane and our life is very busy but i love it so week 16 came around and i had another midwife appointment this would be my second appointment i believe yes second appointment we got to hear baby's heartbeat again which was really amazing and this baby has me oh has me thinking hard so like as i have talked about in previous pregnancy updates with this child and multiple other children that i've anyway a thing i do is right before we find out i like to guess by their heart rate what i'm having and so far so far I have been right um, but this one is throwing me through a loop like I just don't know this baby's right at that midpoint where it's like oh you're not quite high enough to be like girl level but you're not low enough to be in my the boys so like what what is going on this baby's like right at the 140 and likes to just sit there um, it, the baby has gotten more active these last few weeks so I'm hoping at the next appointment, which is in two weeks, uh, I'll get more of a feel for what the baby's heart rate is because right around 20 weeks is when their heart rate starts to 
just regulate and stay right around that. It doesn't like shift and when they're really little and just starting like the first trimester and part of the first of the second trimester, their heart rate kind of fluctuates a lot. And so once they get to that 20 weeks, it rarely fluctuates um, as much. So it'll like stay relatively at the same rate-ish. It just regulates better. It's not so everywhere. But anyway, so this baby's messing it all up. Of course, it's gotta be one, you know, that's just like throws you off. But, um, but I have been right with all of them and in a month, this, so the next update you guys will find, get to find out what this baby is. I'll get to know what this baby is in two and a half weeks. I'm so excited. And it'll be exciting to share with you guys what this baby is. But super exciting stuff. Anyway, the appointment went really well. Like I said, heart rate was kind of crazy, but um, like just she, he, right in the middle there. Um, but yeah, so week 17 came and went without a hitch. Everything was great. And now I'm in week 18, which I'm feeling bigger, a lot more pregnancy symptoms as far as like how I'm feeling. Um, lots of kicks from the baby, which was kind of funny because I think I kind of touched on it in my last update, but I think I must have a placenta that's in the towards the front because I always start feeling my babies right around 13, 11, 12, 13 weeks, and I've always felt them early. And with this one, I felt it early, but then it kind of like disappeared and I didn't like feel the baby, and I was like kind of worried because our first appointment came, I was like, I really haven't felt anything. And because I was feeling the kicks right around 11, 11 weeks, and um, which is really early for a lot of people, but not for me. And so I was like, okay, well, is this baby okay? Like it started moving and I could feel little like flutters and all those things and no, it's not gas. Um, I know the difference, thank you very much. Um, <laughs> but. It was crazy and so I felt some movement and I thought it was, oh wow, this kind of this baby's an active little one. And then for like weeks, I wanna say 13 through 14, 15, like for three weeks, I felt the baby very little and it was really hard to detect. And it wasn't, it was just like, well is this baby even kicking? Like it's okay, but we heard the heartbeat, heartbeat rate, whatever. Great, strong heartbeat. So I think it was just, I think I must have a placenta that is just on the front instead of the back, which I always have a placenta in the back. So, and I'm trying to remember the exact terms, but I can't. Um, but yeah, so that was a little odd. Um, but now I'm feeling baby all the time. Like, it's crazy. Like, you can even, I, I swear, the other day, I felt the baby, like, on the outside. Like, you know, when you start, you can feel them inside and all that, but like, I swear, I felt this. Like somebody, if they had had their hand on my belly, they probably could have felt it. I was like, oh, this kid is so excited. <laughs> Stronger kicks and making, the, the baby's making itself very well known, I guess is the word to put it, or the best way to put it. So yeah, anyway, I'm excited for in the next, in the next couple of weeks when we have our ultrasound, what she'll say about the placenta and where it will be. And um, if I'm right, then that means the placenta's in a different spot than I usually is with all my other kids so this will be interesting but yeah anyway but yeah all in all I'm feeling pretty good and things are going great baby is seems to be very healthy and I'm excited to finally see the baby on the ultrasound for the first time in a couple weeks which will be really exciting before I end telling you all about my pregnancy and all that stuff and how it's going um, is this baby I have felt the hiccups this week for the first time at least noticing them and um, it's pretty cool it's always special when I get to hear my baby or feel my baby hiccup in my womb it's so fun and it's just like this you know rep repetitious little I don't even know how to explain it but like bumping that happens in your stomach and um, it's, it's cool you just feel this little movement and it's their hiccups which is so cool it's always special for me when I first start to feel their hiccups um, but yeah, so that's, that happened, I think, the beginning of this week. I might have even been 17 weeks when I first felt it, and I love, I just love feeling the hiccups. It's so sweet, and yeah, I'm excited to 
have this baby but I'm also glad that I have several months to go because yeah it just feels like I need those extra months to prepare and get my and get stuff done and spring is happening here and so there's lots to be done lots of things to do I'm still on call for a birth which has been on call for like a month and a half already because she usually has her babies early but because she had some surgery or she had a tumor in her brain and it was removed about a year ago and so she got pregnant at right after they had the surgery and this has totally thrown off this pregnancy it's been kind of weird for her because now she's like almost 39 weeks and she hasn't had her baby yet and we're just like well baby's fine head down heart's rates great everything's fine you're healthy um but yeah i wonder we're kind of wondering if it was that tumor that was making her go into labor early um but it was interesting so <laughs> i'm on i've been on call with that so i'm really glad that i'm not like super far along and i can be a doula and um help this mom out and it, it's just awesome so i love being a doula and i will definitely be pursuing it more after I have this baby. <laughs> all right, so that's it. Um, that's all I'm gonna update you guys on and that's it to update you on. So on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye, but I will go ahead and stand up and show you the bump and see how much I've grown this past month. But yeah, I'll see you guys in our next video. Have a great one, bye.